and welcome. Si estás aquí es porque quieres poner a prueba tu comprensión oral. Am I right? Of course. Si te resulta muy difícil, no te preocupes porque este vídeo viene con una worksheet totalmente gratuita que te hemos dejado en la Academia de Amigos Ingleses, aquí arriba y también en la descripción. En esta worksheet vas a encontrar la transcripción completa y también va a haber preguntas de comprensión, ejercicios y todo el vocabulario clave. Y por ser uno de nuestros super motivated English students y venir a clase todas las semanas, queremos ayudarte a mejorar tu inglés este verano regalándote nuestro Super Fluency Pack. Estos son todos los cursos de amigos ingleses y todo lo que tienes que hacer es contestarnos a una pregunta. ¿Cuál crees que podría ser la respuesta adecuada? What would you like for tea? A. Milk and one sugar. B. Fish and chips. O C. A cup of English tea, please. ¿Ok? Déjame un comentario y en una semana vamos a anunciar al ganador del Super Fluency Pack, ¿ok? Inténtalo, no pierdes nada. Tres opciones. And now, please clear your ears and let's begin with your listening practice. Is all this flowery crockery and this ridiculous apron really necessary, Isabel? Yes, it is. I feel like I'm at a granny's birthday party. Okay, only English from now on, students. So, you're a very lucky bunch of students because today, not only are we going to work on your comprehension and get familiar with the sounds and rhythm of the language, but we're also going to learn how to make a proper cup of tea and how you should drink it in public so that you blend in with the natives and don't stick out like a sore thumb. So this is essential information for all you Anglophiles, right. Let's get into it, shall we? So, first things first. If you're making a cup of tea, the water should always be boiled in a kettle. Don't ever be tempted to boil it in the microwave, as it will not be the same, at least for an English person. So, once your kettle is boiled, let it cool down just slightly, because you don't want to burn your tea. Most black teas require water around 97 degrees and green teas about 70 degrees. Okay, this is very important. Now pop a tea bag into your cup and pour the hot water over it. Give it a quick stir and now comes the most important part of the process. You need to stand back and wait. Yes, you heard me. You have to let it brew. So you need to wait patiently for the tea to unlock its flavor. Depending on how strong you like your tea, you should let it brew for between 30 seconds and three minutes. I like mine very strong, so I leave the bag in there for at least an hour. No, I'm just kidding. That, that wouldn't be a good idea. Some common activities for killing time include munching on some biscuits, humming the British national anthem, or doing some Instagram stalking. And of course, don't forget a drop of milk. Now, before removing the bag, Give it a good squeeze by pressing it against the side of the mug. Some people believe this is a kind of tea sacrilege, but personally I don't give a damn. Although you should bear in mind the more you squeeze it, the more bitter the tea will taste. Do you take sugar? One lump or two? Three? Me too. Just don't tell your dentist. If you do take sugar, now would be the moment to add one or more teaspoons or if you're on a diet, you can add a sweetener. Make sure you stir it really well and don't forget to brush your teeth thoroughly afterwards or you'll get furry teeth. So once you've added your sugar, your milk and you've removed the bag, your tea is ready to be drink, drank, drunk. 
If you're in a public tea room, make sure you follow the tea drinking etiquette. If you're at home, well, you can do whatever the hell you like, but be careful, let's not get into bad habits. Okay, now I'm going to give you some non-negotiable rules that must be followed when drinking tea in public. Pay attention because failure to abide by these rules could result in a serious tea room confrontation and you may even be kicked out. Trust me, I learned the hard way. Number one, always stir gently without making too much noise. And we stir the tea, we never swirl. We do it clockwise and then anti-clockwise. Number two, do not sip from the teaspoon. No, 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 no. Place your teaspoon on the saucer and take a little sip. Do not slurp your tea, just sip it very quietly, like so. Did you notice how I was holding my cup? Always use your thumb and fingers, but never grasp the bowl of the cup with your hand. Number four, another thing you should avoid at all costs is extending your pinky finger. This kind of behavior is considered extravagant. Although some people think it's sophisticated, it's actually the very opposite. This comes from the fact that many centuries ago, cultured people would eat their tea goodies with three fingers and commoners would hold the treats with all five fingers as it was something very precious. So if you're ever invited for tea at Buckingham Palace, a raised pinky finger would be a serious faux pas. Just keep your pinky finger under control, okay? And number five, let's talk about biscuits. You may be dying to dunk them in your tea, but hold your horses. Let's just think about this logically. Just imagine the mess it would make if everyone were allowed to dunk their biscuits wherever they liked, willy-nilly. It would create complete chaos in a tea room. Let's keep our biscuits dry in public and save the dunking for behind closed doors, shall we? Now, depending on the consistency of the biscuit, you're going to want to time your dunk. Never overdunk, because you could end up with the biscuit at the bottom of your cup of tea. That's not fun. Enjoy those cups of Rosie Lee. Rosie Lee tea? That's Cockney rhyming slang. All right then, students. Excuse me, what are you doing on my desk? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the listening practice. Bueno, como te dije al principio, puedes conseguir tu worksheet gratuita con todas las respuestas y los ejercicios en la Academia de Amigos Ingleses. La tienes aquí debajo del vídeo y también aquí arriba. Y no te olvides de participar respondiendo a la pregunta que te comentaba al principio en los comentarios, ¿ok? En una semana podrías ser tú el ganador del Super Fluency Pack. Excuse me, don't bite my notebooks. Right. All right then, students, we're done for today. Thank you so much for coming to class. And well, go and enjoy those cups of Rosie Lee. And give this video a like. Just, you know, it's not much effort. Click, that's it. All right. Saludos desde Amigos Ingleses Headquarters. Mwah.